Greetings, this is astrologer Pam Younghans, and here is my North Point Astrology Journal, your guide to planetary energies for the week of June 17th to 23rd, 2024. The Sun enters empathetic Cancer at 1.50 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time this Thursday, June 20th. Our central star's change of signs marks the day of the solstice and the start of a new season, summer in the northern hemisphere and winter in land south of the equator. Planetary influences in effect at the turn of the season indicate themes that will unfold over the next three months. With the full moon peaking just a day after the solstice, its energies are strongly active at the solstice and therefore will impact our collective experience now through the September equinox. The full moon peaks at 7 minutes after 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Friday, June 21st, when the moon is at 1 degree, 7 minutes of Capricorn, and the sun is exactly opposite, the same degree of Cancer. This lunation invites us to find a healthy balance between the qualities associated with the two opposing signs, between objectivity and subjectivity, between capability and vulnerability, between outer accomplishment and inner nourishment, between fulfilling a sense of purpose and meeting our emotional needs. At the time of the lunation, the sun and the moon are both closely square idealistic Neptune in the last degree of Pisces. The three planets create a T-square formation, where the luminaries are positioned at the ends of the crossbar at the top of the letter T, and Neptune is located at the base of the stem. A T-square configuration usually indicates tension and frustrations, often due to a lack of objectivity that require us to grow in some way. With sensitizing Neptune at the very important apex position of the T-square, we will want to be mindful of any ways in which we tend to withdraw from stressful situations instead of facing them directly. And since Neptune, when in hard aspect, can create a certain amount of confusion or fog, it will be important to gain clarity on our emotions, Cancer, and on our goals, Capricorn, before taking action. Another challenge of this T-square full moon is not to lapse into wishful thinking or to wait to be rescued when taking responsibility is a more appropriate response. At the same time, we will want to put as much time and intention into self-care as we do into taking charge of the situation. Here are my brief interpretations of this week's most important planetary aspects day by day. On Monday, Mercury is square Neptune. We walk through a hall of mirrors with this aspect, not sure what is real and what is reflection. Thinking and communications can be somewhat rambling and confusing. Mercury then enters Cancer. Mercury will travel through sentimental Cancer from June 17th to July 2nd. During this time, our thinking and communications are strongly influenced by our emotional state. Intuition and empathy are heightened, but it can be harder to maintain objectivity. There may also be a tendency to be defensive, to take another words personally. Also on Monday, Mercury is conjunct Venus. Communications are highlighted with a strong need to share feelings. We may be drawn into an emotional conversation with a friend or loved one, or we might prefer to journal our feelings. But Mercury is also quincunx Pluto on Monday. Care must be taken when in conversation since people can react strongly to what is spoken. Words can sting or be used to manipulate or control. On Tuesday, Venus is Queen Punk's Pluto. Fears and insecurities in relationships may be triggered, resulting in jealousy and suspicion. Trust could be undermined if there is a feeling that something is being hidden. There are no major aspects exact on Wednesday. On Thursday, the sun is square Neptune. We may feel disillusioned or disappointed by a lack of communication today or by the feeling that we are not truly being heard. And Thursday is the day that the sun enters Cancer. The sun will be in Cancer from June 20th to July 22nd this year. People tend to be more nostalgic and sentimental this month, drawn to home and family or whatever creates a feeling of being emotionally secure and supported. There is also a protectiveness about cancer, 
due to its deep feelings of vulnerability. Because of this, people can more readily go into fight-or-flight mode when under stress. On Friday, Mercury is sextile Mars, but also semi-square Uranus. New ideas and insights are possible today, inspiring us into action. However, there is also some nervousness involved as we encounter unexpected situations. Also on Friday, the full moon occurs at its brightest at 7 minutes after 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At that time, the moon will be at 1 degree 7 minutes Capricorn, and the sun will be at the same degree of Cancer. On Saturday, the sun is quincunx Pluto. Insecurities arise as we manage our emotional responses to circumstances that are beyond our control. There are no major aspects exact on Sunday. If your birthday is this week, there are likely to be shifts in your personal values, creative outlets, and relationships this year. Your old identity is, in a sense, washing away. This means you may start to feel disappointed and disillusioned with material possessions and relationships that are not an energetic match for who you are becoming. Your imagination and intuition are heightened this year, and you are more sensitive in general to other people and the energies around you. This increased impressionability could require that you spend more time on your own. Being in your own space will help you identify what emotions and thoughts are yours and which ones you may have picked up from other people or from the collective. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an insightful week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.